Well hello and thanks for tuning into the channel. I want to show you this a little bit of kit. It is a 12 volt power washer. It's pretty cool. If you didn't see the video to my portable one which is the 20 volt uh, works, that's up there. So click on that. That is an absolute great product and you don't have to use that in the van. But that's quite expensive at about £150. This one here cost me £12 from eBay, it's on Amazon, it's on the internet, it's everywhere. It's not something that's new, but it just might be something that you've not seen. Stay tuned, I'll show you how I fitted this to my van. You can do that to your car as well, but more importantly, how good it is when it actually works. Well, this is it in its entirety, really. The good thing about having a ply line van is I was able to actually bolt it onto the um, parts that secure the rim, but it's just your pump. What I've managed to do is put it in like this haversack, and this is the actual sort of working part gubbins of it. So it comes with a really, really long hose. It's a lot thinner than what you'll see on sort of a conventional pressure washer or portable power washer, but it still gets the job done. And it's all fairly cheap, hence the 12 pounds, but you've got a nozzle there and it is adjustable. So you can get different spray angles on it. Included as part of the kit is this, which is to suck the water from your source, but also you get the filter on there to make sure that no, of well none of the nasties get sucked up the hose there is a power switch here it's just kind of like a light switch really um, that you'd expect to see on a lamp so I've just secured that to the side there but the important thing that powers this is the 12 volt cigarette lighter on my van I've got one at the back which is brilliant um, but every car has one of these so there shouldn't be an issue for you to get power to this so in order to connect this up the first thing I'll do is get this and it connects to the other side so when you get this kit it comes with instructions you won't get that confused it's very easy to follow and all I do is squeeze it on all right that is it I leave that connected constantly because it goes away in this pouch uh, which is nice and secure just keeps it all nice and tidy and then that's ready to then put in the water source which I'll have in a moment this it is fairly long to be fair I could cut this down um, but because I can get it all in there, it just gives me the option to have it as long as I want because once you've cut it, there's no going back from that. So it's entirely up to you uh, how you want to manage that. So let's get it all connected up, get it powered up and see how effective this actually is. So I still use my 25 litre jerry can, but it doesn't produce or use as much water as it does with the Works Hydro Shot. So you don't need to fill this to capacity to get a good wash. So I'll still put that all the way to the bottom and that can just stay there. All right, nice and secure in the back of the van. To get this working, you do have to turn the engine on unless you've got the sort of vehicle that allows you to have that 12 volt power straight away. Um, but to get the most from this, I do advise that you do actually run with the engine on. That way you're not going to drain any battery power and you're going to get the actual PSI quoted, about 120 to 30 PSI from this. And I'll start the engine and see what it can do. So let's start the beast up. The beast be in my van. And then all you have to do is then turn it on. Now I'll turn it off a second. You can clearly hear it's quite noisy and that's why I recommend you do mount it because the vibrations that this produces, it will move everywhere. So the very bare minimum I'd say is to get a decent bit of um, wood so that if you do have this in a conventional lighter on a car where you can't secure it in the back like this You can maybe put that piece of wood nice and flat to the ground and it's not gonna just drift off everywhere And possibly cause damage to this so with the water source ready the power to the van on I'm just gonna unravel this a bit and show you a demonstration just on the ground uh, I haven't got a dirty bike to clean at this time, but you'll get a good idea what you're gonna get for 12 pounds Takes a little bit to get the water up first I can just see it siphoning through now. You can hear it change. And that is the actual flow you're going to get. So it's not like the works hydro shot in terms of power, but this thing still doesn't tickle when you put your hand there and you can adjust it. Whatever way you want to get the desired effect of cleaning, whatever, it doesn't have to be a mountain bike. This can just be used on absolutely anything. The good thing is with that 25 litre jerry can, it's going to last a long, long time. So whatever water source you bring to the party, it's going to get the job done. And then if you need to do a deeper clean back at home, you can do that. You can adjust it at the back so that it can stay there. All right, and then you don't have to hold it. There you 
it go. So you can see, actually, it's quite effective. You can adjust that to get rid of it. And there you go, it still works well. So yes, it's noisy, but you know what, if it gets the job done, am I bothered? No, not really. It will get that initial wash done before you stick it on the back of the car, on top of the roof, in the van, or whatever job you've decided that you want to buy this for. Now before I put it away, I want to get all the water out of the system, so a little tip for you in order to do that. Raise the filter to the top so it's not going to suck any more water out. You see I just balance it on the edge there. Turn it back on and then empty it out. So here we go. You'll know when it's empty, I'll show you. So that's the main bulk of the water out, now it's just siphoning the rest out from the hose keeps it nice and clean, in good working order, and then you can rely on it to work next time as well. It doesn't take long, but it's worth doing. And there you go. All right, so you can release, turn it off. You know there's still a little bit of water in the pipes, all right, but you can drain that out, so once you disconnect, it's not gonna cause an absolute mess. So all you have to do now is just take it apart. So nice and simply remove the hose, if there's any more to drain from there, there's a little bit that's just come out. I don't need it to be completely dry in there. I can sort of wrap it up neat, put it back in my little pouch, and then it's just a matter of doing the next one. So I'll show you that rather than going for it because it's quite a long bit of hose. I'll secure that in there, and then that's that bit done. So once you have it rolled back up, it's just a case of putting it back in all nice and neat. This is how I like to do my business. If you need to, just to make it easier, because this is the bigger part of it, then put this away first. I like it all neat and tidy, and then that way I'm looking after it. And then, of course, ravel that back up, and it's easy to slip into the back there. Just put the cover back over for that bit of protection still. And there it is, I can forget about it until next time. Now this is not half as powerful as the Works Hydro Shot, so Please do have a look at that link that I provided at the beginning, but I'll leave it in the description as well. But for £12, sometimes a little bit more expensive depending on where you're looking, this is absolutely brilliant and is always going to be available because you've got the power source, whereas the battery could die on the other one. So take loads of water with you or go somewhere you know you can get water and then you'll be safe to use this no matter what. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, rate it comment subscribe i'd love to hear your comments if you've got something similar if you had any problems with this um, i think for the price point if it went wrong i wouldn't be too uh, disappointed about that i'd just buy another one but i'd love you to subscribe come back for more content because i just love doing this stuff until then i'll see you for the next one